All right. Day number three, as I've been uh, downloading these memory cards, um, putting the clips all together, uh, I've been noticing, apparently I say, all right, every single time I start a new video. Um, plus, I probably say it throughout the day, just randomly quite a bit. So, comment below how many times that you have counted that I have said all right. There's no contest or anything, but I will be keeping tabs on this, and I think it'll be a fun game just to see who gets the closest. But anyway, so I am going to do a little bit today, not much. And when I say day three, obviously I'm not taking, you know, eight hour days on these. It's been a couple attempts, little pieces here and there. But the uh, flywheel, I don't know if that shows in there very well, has this little um, <clears throat> keyway slot. <clears throat> so does the um, crankshaft itself. And steel at the dealership. They want a dollar fifty for the key, but they have to order it, and the shipping on it is five bucks, and it's like two day shipping. So <clears throat> I had already ordered six pack of them because I figure if I do any more of these builds, as I think I very well very well may, depending on how well this runs and everything over time it would not hurt to have a couple around anyway just for repairs so that's kind of where i'm at so today i think i'm going to try to maybe put the muffler on um try to see what else i can get on while i wait for that keyway because on this side pretty much the flywheel goes next and then the coil's got to get mounted Probably can do the coil. Maybe I can't. I don't know. Uh, until maybe I was figuring I'd wait until I put that flywheel on, but maybe I can put it on there. Who knows? Um, and then on this side, I'm waiting for the brake cover. Excuse me, the brake lever to come into this area right here because I got to put that spring, which goes over that brake handle lever so um, all in all I think what I might do just for mock-up purposes to see how far I can get it to go is I might actually take this piece here put it on even though none of that stuff's there mount this in place so that it's just in place and then I should be able to take this off is what I'm kind of hoping and then be able to put it back on later underneath the handle. So that's kind of the goal. So maybe I will get that right hand side built completely. Uh, and if I'm able to do that, then I should be able to build the back half of the saw and then be ready to just do the left hand side of the saw. But all in all, just gonna see how it goes. I got my, my coffee, um, not sponsored by any means by these guys, but I like a good cup of coffee, and this is uh, Verena Street, V-E-R-E-N-A Street, and the flavor is uh, called Mississippi Grog. It's a it's a pretty nice dark coffee, and it's got good flavor. And if you get good water with a good mixture of the beans, I grind my own so. I love them, but anyway, it's a real good one. So, that's what we're going to give it a shot right now. See what we can do. My kid's soccer game is in about two and a half hours. So, probably not going to mess around for too long. <clears throat> all in all, I think my battery is getting ready to die on me anyhow so let's see if we can get this muffler on the 
before the battery dies. And figure out what bolt she wants me to use. Well, I don't see any special bolts here. Well, we got three with washers in there. <clears throat> if it weren't for the fact that there was three in this package of the ones with washers, I would think maybe that might be the one they want here. Judging by the depth, I'm sure they don't want you getting in the way of the vertical bolts for the cylinder head. They got Loctite on them, so they seem to be about the right length. Maybe the right size. We'll start that. Here's to be the right size. Length probably is about right. By the time you put the material of the muffler in the way, probably about right. certain things you can do to these mufflers to open them up a little bit and let them breathe but just this first round all I want to do is get everything working just to see how the build went get a feel for everything I'm almost wondering now if that's what those were for.
Hey, wait a minute. What do we got here? We have three with blockers. That's the hardest part about this thing where I don't have anything to reference the actual size. I mean, that seems like a lot of overkill right there. Now this one's got two short ones, which would make sense up here. And then it's got two long ones with Loctite on it. battery is at. Get you guys a better view. So, see if I can get it to zoom in. No, I'll have to do it on my phone, I think. Alright. Let's try this now. See if these are the ones. Understand why you wouldn't put washers on the bottom if you're going to put washers on the top. Hopefully, this works. It appears to be the better diameter. Feeling a lot better. Some of the T27 T handles coming.
And of course, it's the one I got out, out and about somewhere. For that quarter inch first pull. Took the home socket driver. The T twenty seven. Well, whatever that one doesn't matter. It's broken anyway. Good thing I got more ready to order. <coughs> Somewhere in these messy. I think it's in this one possibly. Should be a. I used to have husk varnas. Used to run husk varnas left and right. I got an old uh, husk varna 338 XPT or XP, whatever they called it. I had the thing. Well, I had the. The California kit installed on it. That thing ran like a beast. Ah, right here in front of my face. Now oh, the 25. Anyway. I don't remember if they used that, but back when I had that saw, I ended up with that tool somehow, so. Muffler's on! We're going to exchange the battery while we still got it. I know it needs to be changed. Well, all I got a minute or two, I'll... This was the old girl. She's been road hard and put away wet a few times. I haven't... The on off switch broken and I probably haven't ran it since then but compression still feels pretty alright but to be honest she looks like hell but she's a ripper <clears throat> I started having issues because of all the ethanol and this is before we figured that out that it was the gas could keep it running for nothing, so I will rebuild her. But in comparison to my 193, the weight on this thing is stupid. So, but I could put that right there is an 18 inch bar, and I could bury it in a walnut when I was topping them for the loggers. And that sucker would keep moving just fine. Then the last but not least one to build is sweet old Betsy right there. For those that know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I wonder if now nah, she's probably got some old gas. I don't want to be gumming her up. Anyway, that one's gonna get rebuilt too. Hopefully this winter, I'll be able to get some of these projects done. But anyway, like I said, we we'll change the battery. Keep building this guy. Because I got my 34 and my 72 inch chainsaw bar coming this week. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to get the uh, Panther Pro sawmill down. And uh, next week, Maybe get slabbing on some lumber. I just got everything stacked up. Got a walnut log that's so stinking huge the four, uh, skid steer won't even lift it. And it lifts some pretty heavy stuff. So I got to imagine that log's got to be over 3,500, 4, 4,000 pounds or something. <clears throat> and then I got a uh, large uh, maple tree, uh, hard maple that. Uh, the bottom log especially, but I think the top log might as well be a little bit spalted. 
Um, but the top log, you know, was probably two and a half to three foot across. And uh, I'll get everything measured up before I go cutting on it. But what was it, 16 foot? No, I think it was, I cut one at 15 and one at 14. It just made sense because of the boards themselves. I'm not trying to sell them to the, the sawmills. I still might have them come out and take a peek at it, but uh, I'll probably just slab them up, you know, and see what I can make out of them because they're beautiful. Just spalted all the way through on the bottom, and I think that uh, the middle, it was spalted all the way through as well. So anyway, let's get this done. All right, got the battery changed. Get my arms wrapped up. I got tendonitis pretty good in my arms here. And this is a product called Dynarex. I've heard other brands, one called Coban and stuff like that, but I don't buy it from the stores. Some places you'll get it and it's good stuff, but most of the stuff that's out there, it's kind of junky. I actually ordered this stuff off of Amazon by the box. Heck, maybe I'll put a link at the bottom for anybody to grab it if they want, if they have any issues like that. But basically, I just kind of, I'm wrapping it a little tight because obviously I'm working on this today, but normally I wouldn't put it probably this tight, but it ain't gonna hurt me nothing today. You can definitely wrap them too tight and cut the circulation off, but I don't think that's going to be it by any means, but I got a tear in the muscle right here on both of my arms, and then I got uh, what's called golf. So this is tennis, this is golf, tennis, golf, and it actually came from that first uh, old saw that you, that Husqvarna, <clears throat> and I was running that one one-handed all day long, burn it out, and switched hands while this one was super sore the other thing was i would use a motion wrap my hand around the rope as i was climbing and pull your weight up pull your weight up and doing that for all day long which explains why my shoulders going out too but in the end i was compensating trying to run the saw with this hand quite about quite a bit at that time and burnt that one up too same year <clears throat> but all in all what this does because I was gripping those, gripping those uh, tools, turning those bolts, and it was just starting to sting. But it kind of, if you think of it as like a river, you throw a rock in the middle of the river, the water goes around it. It's so for some reason, squeezing like that, when you do that, it actually makes the, the bad muscle not get used as much. So I've been running without them for a couple of days, so they're achy, which I shouldn't be doing. But anyway, I think I'm going to put this guy in here. I don't know which one that one's going to take. The rest of those were all that uh, I call it self-tapping screws for plastic <laughs> but um, excuse me this apparently seems to be a little longer the only long one I got left that I can tell right now is this guy <clears throat> so I suppose what I'll do is give this a run and See what happens. See if this is the guy. No, it seems. Oh wait, this is probably yeah. The brake handle is gonna go through this one, I think. Where is it? Oh, this is the. That's probably what 
what this one's for. Yep, yep, yep. That makes sense. And it goes on the other side. So, is it just a standard? Gonna stick that wire down in here and I'll put this cover on now. Get this over. And here. Oh, 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 oh. Here, you stay over here. Like my kids, I always tell them, you got your you got too much crap in your hands. And what do I do? Put too much crap in my hands. That on there, put that there. Just can't bolt all this up here. I don't know, I'll probably have to take this back off just to do what I'm trying to do at this point, but who knows. Maybe that's why there's only three with the washer, and they were with the longer one. That makes a little sense. That's about the only thing I got to work with here. These pieces all being semi-packaged together as you would use them. That's been helpful. This would be an absolute mess if they just kind of threw <laughs> everything in together. But I am torquing these down. I don't actually need to. I'm not going to go crazy on them, but I figure if I'm going to have any problems with threads or something like that, I would rather have it now while I'm still in the building process, rather than being right at the end thinking, yay, I'm gonna be done, and then be done, not under my own. Notice that there's three tapped screw heads, or screw holes here. Now that one, I can see goes for the recoil there. But I don't know what that one, that one is, maybe there's, Maybe they use one case for all the saws, but I can't understand what that would be for. And I don't have any hardware that small. Almost like there's a, a sign or something that would go in there. A little placard. figured that guy out, which is virtually out of ball, or is it not going to be an odd ball? They're all schnick style. Maybe. Maybe it's supposed to be different. I don't know. See if I can see the threads. Well, it appears to be different. Standard. Old standard. Sorry, I've been blocking the blocking the show a lot. I'd like to have a position over top, but I'm gonna have to create a bracket or stand or something, I don't know. I'd hang you from right here. I've tried to do that already, but it puts you upside down. Alright, so those two go. Get the handle. There's a screw hole there. I don't know what that guy's for.
Oh, wait a minute. I'm pretty certain one of those pieces goes through the handle itself. I'm trying to do this all from memory. Head two saws apart that much detail and it's just been a minute. standing tool bench, one that rolls around, tool, toolbox I mean, one that rolls around so I can get my actual work surface back so I could probably put all this loose parts and stuff like that around here and work from this part and stand it up. I actually made this bench myself, it's not really awesome but I like it a lot more because it's a little higher than most. I'm not the tallest dude out there, but apparently everything's built for 5'4", not 6'1". Because most tables I'm bending over trying to get to them or whatever, so. Alright, let me try to get a bearing where I'm at. I'm going to put this handle on while I'm thinking about it and just maybe I take it off. I don't know. Oh, that's right, I was doing this. Now I remember. So, I don't think so, but somehow that goes in. Oh, I think that goes on that pen too. So, we're gonna oh, we're on doing that. stupid socket. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can do it while the... can't do much of anything while the thing's recording. Let me stop it, let me see if I can get zoomed in. special stuff for this exact reason. Bink. Bink. Not the right size, but it works. I have a 27. It's a 25. Yeah, unfortunately, I do not. It's been a while since then, but I had a guy that I used to have working with me on a regular basis. He was a, a, a pig pack, and we'll just go say that. And he would uh, very much so lose my tools on a regular basis so that part goes in here if i remember correctly it goes through that hole there then it goes on i'm lining this guy up just right because you got to get the part on the pin just the same Now we'll put this back in. Do a couple finger threads. Close with that guy. Put that in. 
and that should show roughly what's going on there. There we go. Got a lot more movement now. There we go. So. <clears throat> Sorry about this dead space in the video. Getting somewhere, hang on. Okay, so it goes up. Alright, so this is our current drawing right now. It shows that that little block of steel goes up. Two. This is magnetized. Is this guy is supposed to go up like that? Place. 
Oh, yep, because that holds the, that's the, when you feel that click, click, that's what that's doing. So it's, it's coming back to me now. I see it all coming back to me now, says the blind man as he pisses into the wind. So it seems how you guys all had to sit through that quiet, patiently waiting for me to figure all that out, and I just disappear from the screen. Might as well uh, give you a dad, uh, joke that I heard long ago. So, the guy, two guys are at the bar playing pool. One guy just keeps betting the other guy you can beat him and <clears throat> beat him in pool. And then he'd play a game with him and then they they'd um, they'd play a game and then the first guy would lose and the second guy would say that's enough and the first guy is like, No, that's good. Double or nothing. And they just kept repeating it. He kept repeating this over and over again. And the guy that's losing doesn't seem to be getting the point that this guy he's playing is just not going to be. But finally the guy that's winning says, look, this is the final game, double or nothing. Whether you win or lose, I'm done. I'm not going to keep taking your money. So the guy, <clears throat> they're now up to like 500 bucks. Well, I think it's 600 because it's double or nothing. It's been a long time since I've heard this joke. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I'm struggling to get this thing on here. Let me get this set first. So, they're up to $600. And the guy that's losing Scratches on the brake right off the bat, you know, losing the match, and he wins. The guy that he hands the money over to the guy that wins. This is a terrible. I can't mechanic and tell a joke apparently. So the guy wins. He hands him the money, and the winner goes and sits down. Let me get this together and then I'll tell the joke. This is uh, significantly diff more difficult than I thought it would be. Oh, I gotta put it on the pin first. It's on the pin. Now, Love taps to get in. Alright, that spring's working. Okay, we're good. 
Um, before I forget, let's get these Eclipse set. Maybe there's nothing lost. Nothing missing. Set and spin it around a little bit though. Just to make sure she's nice and tight. Put this other E clip on here. Put it on backwards. Might have to take a rain check on that joke. Just feel extra special. Got myself in a good old predicament. There we go. makes a lot more sense. Okay. Get these E clips in and then I'll explain what I did. I had that part flipped around to where this was down here and this was up there so literally just completely turned around but why this is good is 
there's a spring that goes back to there which you'll see why I've invented this uh, special screwdriver that I got back there it also helps to push on these eclips and I'll explain but anyway that spring hooks there which pulls that backwards like this then when you hit the brake to me it seems like it's moving in the opposite direction of which it should yeah okay never mind sorry so when it goes forward like this which is when you lock it that's unlock forward pulls forward which makes the spring collapse you'll see that in this concept right here so that spring pulls forward therefore making the circle smaller <clears throat> and that spring goes in right here just not that and it goes I wonder if that's what Oh, come on, fruit knuckles. I say, I say, I say now, this pump don't want to behave.
I cannot for the life of me see how that would hook in there. Which is only convincing me it's on the wrong way again. The brake goes this way, which pushes it forward, which is right. That spring goes backwards, which is correct. But it won't engage. Ha ha ha. Yeah, and looking here at the diagram, it shows it's right. Position there. Is this positioned right? Yes, it has to be. There's really only one way it fits in there. I remember running into this issue before. So let's put this bolt in. I want to say something to the tune of everything's got to be perfectly aligned for it to work, which could be true, could not be true, who knows, but we won't know until we do it. Alright, now to... So this spring is terribly a pain in the ass to put on. And what I've come to find is this little groove that I cut in the end of it. I have no clue if it's focusing yet. You can see it's a little different colored at least. I think I explained it earlier. I filed a groove into it a couple years back. That groove was good for putting it, you put it through the zoom real quick. Nope, I cannot. We've already talked about that. Alright. So I put the screwdriver on. And it may still take an attempt or two. But everything's got to be perfect in order for it to work. Really should have had safety glasses on because this thing could come off like crazy. There you be. It's on. Now, it's in the run position, which is where I am so sick and confused. I'm sorry for the bad angle here. I want to pull this back out. below if you know what the trick is here or if you know what I'm doing wrong at minimum is the secret to get it out. I need the secret to get it in. So it's got this little T-groove, which leads me to believe something to do with how you get it on there. But every time I, I put it in there and I turn it, 
and it's too skinny to go in this way. Can't just slide it over. Still, I'm gonna go get a, a tappy tap. Very politely convince it to go in. I'm definitely not liking it going in this way. Safety would be good. Registered Tree Pro. Kind of. Yay. Alright, now I think the oil pump, I can probably put that cover on for now, at least to keep that from shooting me in the eyeball later. One, two, three, four. Probably smaller screws. I have six smaller screws here. But we'll run them. Or love tap baby, love tap baby, love tap. Get them started. Kind of like my singing career. Botch. All right, anyway, the guys play pool, he gets his butt beat. There we go, we're gonna get back to it. All right, then, <clears throat> the loser says to the guy that's winning, all right, no more games, but I'll bet you I can shoot this cue ball and hit 10 balls in a root that bing 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 all into one another in any way you set them up and then hit the eight ball in pull this one out and didn't line up the guy's like, no, that's not possible. He's like, all right. So he sets him up, and the guy actually puts it in. 
and he wins the money. Well, then the guy's mad that he lost all his money, and he thinks that he's been shark. And the guy says, all right, fine. You call it. So he lines up the balls in a different way, and he tells them how to shoot it. And he shoots it. flush as much as the other ones do, but I don't think that's important. So anyway, he shoots it, and uh, he makes it. I don't know, dude. I honestly freaking completely lost this joke. I'm stupid. Wow. Hey, good job designing your lid here, Valvoline. Not only am I I'm telling terrible jokes, that I can't even remember how they go. But probably a lot. Too much for this one. Hey, whatever. Oh, maybe one of you guys remembers this joke, but I remember it being something about like the guy ends up betting him the one that's been losing all day <clears throat> has been betting him that uh, he finally ends up betting him that he can pee in that cup 20 feet away. The guy says, absolutely no way. So they line up. Side by side, one guy here, one guy here, cuts all the way down there, and he gets lined up, getting ready to pee, and he turns and he pees all over the guy's leg, and the guy's like, woo, because he won like $2,500, and then the guy says, you know, he gets to thinking about it, and he's like, well, why the hell did you do that? You just gave me all that money. turns to the guy and he says because I bet the bartender five grand I could piss all over you and make you happy but uh sh sh would have been a lot funnier if I had remembered how the heck it went all right so oil pump goes in here yeah. Funky. Bump, bump, bump. This is reverse thread. This is the clutch pack. Oh, my. Oh, probably a washer. Yes. Love tap, baby, love tap. Love tap. Got me, uh, got my song stuck in my head now. Let's see, is there a way? I'm not getting too complicated, but I get a little bit of a bump on that. We have a compression. Alright, now put this guy on. Bearing on. I guess there's an E clip or something. Where's the oil pump? Gonna line that lever on the oil pump up just right. I don't know, does that 
set up like that. Doesn't seem right. Me. Turn that around. So we'll redo that again. So oh, I've had to do this before, but it's a pain in the ass. Luckily, the spark plug's not that hard to get out. So let's just do this. First and foremost, do I have my socket out? No. Drive, spark plug socket. Plastics right in the flipping way. I didn't really expect you to get. How is that good for the field? Stand by. I just went and looked at my other 066 and the angle of the piston uh, spark plug is just a little different. Very intriguing. And I don't have. all makes sense it's done why I'm doing it that does is it stops the piston from going up and down. You can use a rope. You can use a lot of things really, but definitely do not want to use... Oh, I know what I did. 
Yeah. Put it on backwards. Because there's a nut right there. Of which I've seen this done. I don't know if it's good practice or not. I guess this guy knew a little more than I did when it comes to putting these together because his was already together. <laughs> Items on the counter. Okay, we got it. That looks a lot better. That looks more better. This grease away, wipe away the hands. Put that guy on. And we'll put this guy on. Show the two. Oh, don't lose parts right now. It goes here. E clip goes here. So, and again, the one that I filed, I'll probably make a liar out of myself here, but pushes E clips on relatively decent. Free to get it. This thing's got a bit of a dish to it, the uh, washer underneath. But anyway, there you go. So, I don't know if you can't see that. What I got going on is I, that little groove. It almost acts like a fork going around the E-clip. I put my thumb next to it. So this is going to take a little bit of an impact. Where's my love tap, baby love tap? Eyeglasses, safety glasses, as well as a bit of a screen would be helpful here probably. All right, we're heading in the right direction. time we got left All right, this is 447 
think what I'm going to do direction this guy wants to be there so I can put this little screw in here Utilitarian knife. Try to start putting some of this stuff out of the way. I've got about 10 minutes or so before I really need to be starting packing up and getting moving. Go to this game. I don't know if that's where this goes or not. But this is the only thing that makes sense right at the moment. Hold that guy in place. Alright, now I'm going to the driver there up. This goes over here. These studs put in. Which is going to take this pack. These are 19 millimeter. So a little trickeroo I learned. Oh, that's interesting. I did not realize that these are the exact same threads. So anyway, a little trick or I learned back in Vietnam. We'll do this out first. Is you'll take one, basically to the shoulder, two right to it, and then you bring the one on the bottom back in line with the front one. It's what's called a jam nut. The concept is you're jamming the one up against the other. And I think it's going to be better off in the base. The vice, yeah, the base. Just because everything's too loose right now. Just make them line up just enough to where you can take the old socket that you had earlier. That's been my old rusty trusty. These threads back out. And strip and all that other crap. So I'm going to put a uh, liberal amount on here. And then I'm going to suck it flat. L spark plug hole back in, which is Spanish for spark plug, if you didn't catch that. Redneck Spanish. Spanish, Spanish of course. Mm. 
Now, back to the wrenches. I'm going to take the bottom one and the top one and loosen them off of each other again. Just like that. Stud took a little damage, a little thread booger, but not the end of the world. And hopefully this is translating pretty good here. Just get it to where they they both line up, straight line. That way the socket goes over both of them. I apologize, I'm gonna to have to take a break after this. And go to my son's soccer game. Sorry guys, he's more important than you. But that doesn't mean I don't care. This means the kids are awesome. And I hope they know that. All four of them got me a teenager, well, two teenagers. One that's a junior in high school. Yeah, just a little buttery. I'll get the die 